Ooh. How are we doing guys and girls? My name is Tom Dye. Welcome back to 3 Minute Thursday. This series is all about using moves behind the bar. And today we're using the spoon. Ooh. I'm going to show you three moves. Three, yes, one, two, three, which you can start using today behind the bar. Now these moves, I've kind of nicked them from famous flair bartenders. The first one is from a guy called Siki. Uh, and he actually has his own vlog, and I'm going to put a description in to a link in the description below, so you can go and check out his flair vlog. Um, he does a, a, vlog, a vlog about flair. So anyway, uh, the first one is just as simple as that. That is the sicky spoon flick, as I call it. Now, if you're using this spoon right here, all right. What you need to do is that disc end, you want to make sure that's hanging off of the end of the bar. So if that's the end of the bar, you want it hanging off the end of the bar like this, okay? And you want the spoon part upwards, all right? Boop, just like that. Now, the trick here is to not, when you hit it up, is to hit it, like tap it up, like this. So you tap it up quickly, is to not lift it up, because what's going to happen is as you lift it, your finger will get caught on that disc end and start to spin around and it'll spin uncontrollably. Now, if you have another type of spoon, that will also work, but just make sure that uh, if you are using the disc end, if you have it the opposite way around and you have these rubber mats, that disc end is going to get caught in it and it's going to fly in the wrong direction. So, one more time, once it's there in that position, what you're going to do is you're going to hit it up, whoop, and then your hand is going to come underneath and just let it land in your hand. Now, the spoon does spin fairly quickly, so you've got to be quite quick with it, all right? But once you get better at this move, you can do two things at once, and it's a good way to be able to pick up your spoon. Ooh, cool. Right, the second move, very simple as well, is what is called the, like the, the bar balance, basically. Now, what this entails is just literally putting the spoon onto the bar top and letting it balance there for a second and grabbing it in a different way. So whilst you're doing something else, you can put the spoon there, pick up something else, all right? And you can pour and you can even balance it that way if you want. The, tr the idea with this move is not necessarily to, uh, it's like a dismount move as we say. So you can use the move to do something, like you use, sorry, you can use the spoon to do something and then when you come to put it down into your sink, you can just balance it on the bar top there for a second, all right? And the better you become at this move, the better that your balance is gonna be. And you can even start giving it a spin if you're on a bar top like this. So once you spin it, whew, it looks better. It grabs the attention of the guests, <clears throat> of the guests? It grabs the attention of your guests and it gives you something extra to do with the spoon instead of just putting it down. Like I said, you can use it, put it give it a spin and then put it into your sink or wherever it needs to go next. Final move from Mr. Oliver Diak, where he used to place the spoon onto the shaker like this. Now, if you've got a longer spoon, it's easier. Oh, look, I've got a longer spoon. Ooh, ooh. You can place the spoon onto the shaker like this, all right? And then the idea is, woo, you're supposed to roll the shaker down the spoon like that. I didn't do it very well. But one more time, once it's there, you can roll the shaker down the spoon like this. I was never very good at this move, but again, you want to go for the, the idea of the illusion that it's rolling down the spoon, and hopefully it won't fall off of the bar top as it is doing right now. Boom. Okay. Oh. If you have, ah, there was that disc end spoon again. If you have this disc end spoon, that's going to grip onto the shaker much easier. Woo! All right. And then you can just let it go like here, pick up your shaker, and off you move on to the next move. Super simple to do and quite effective when you're using it on the bar. Because how many times you're stirring something up, you put that up there, boom, put that here, come over here, grab onto this, pour that into there, bang, back to your cocktail, and on, on you go to the next move or to the next process of making your drink. That was three moves in one. Bar trick, bar, 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 bar spoon moves, which you can use today. Three of them in total, from one from Mr. Oliver Deck, one from Mr. Sicky, okay? Uh, and the third one, the one in the middle is, I don't know where it actually came from, but it's just another one I throw in there for you. So, give them a try, let me know what you think. Put me questions in the comments box below. And uh, don't forget to share this. Uh, give the, the video a like and subscribe if you so wish to do so. Until next time, see you then.